Today we're going to be looking at a new product from Hackstech called Real Scene Dice. They are essentially metal dice with artwork behind each of the numbers. Every now and again Hackstech sends me a care package with a bunch of different dice. This time they happened to send me some with their newest product and I thought I would do a review on it because I hadn't seen dice like this before and I thought that they were unique enough to take a look at. As with many of their other metal dice sets, these come in a black bag with a big red plastic eye on the front of them, which I think is really awesome. It sets them apart from just having another plain black dice bag and it's a nice change of pace from the norm. Hextech sent me out three different scenes of dice, their Evil Eye set, their Staff of Life set, which reminds me of a druid for some reason, and their Eldritch Blast set. The best my eyes can show is that it's the same piece of art on all faces of the die, so you can see it a little bit better in things like the D6 or the D4 or the D12 where they have larger faces on the die. It'd be very interesting to see a die with a different scene on each face, though I'm sure that would get kind of busy and detract from the numbers. I like that they keep it simple with plain white numbers with a black outline so that it doesn't clash with any of the artwork behind it. Now I'm sure some of you had the same thought that I did that that artwork isn't going to stay on there. So I took the corner of the D4, the sharpest of the dies, and tried to scratch and break up this artwork on the D6. But they have kind of a resin coating on the top of them, and you can see here in the reflection of the light, no damage is really done. And if the same die from the same set can't do any damage and it's metal, I'm not worried about this artwork fading. But of course the question for any set of dice is how do they look and how do they sound when you're rolling them on the table. So I'm going to sit here and shut up for a minute. Okay, I do know I said that I would shut up. However, I do have to talk on this one because this is pretty great. As I rolled this one here with the evil eye, which kind of looks like a snake's eye, I got my first one and I was like, oh, that's funny. It kind of looks like snake eye, I got a one. But then I rolled the set again and got another one. I literally got snake eyes with the set that looks like snake's eyes. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it happened and I thought it was funny. The only two sets to actually get a natural one on their D20s as I was rolling were the Evil Eye set and this Eldritch Blast set. Take with that what you will, that doesn't necessarily mean anything, but I hadn't rolled a nat 20 on any of them yet, so I took all three d20s and rolled them until I got a nat 20. It only took three times, and it happened to be the one that didn't get all the nat 1s. So, with the Staff of Light set, or the one that I think looks like a druid set, I have to say, Fate obviously recommends this set of the three of the sets. I think it's a great set, I think it looks awesome for what it is. However, I will have to say, of the three designs, my favorite is the Eldritch Blast set. I think the black and the white go well with the kind of grayish metal frame on the outside and the black and white letters. I think it fits very, very well and is an overall extremely appealing set. However, thematically, I actually think the evil eye or the little serpents looking eye is a great set and would be awesome for a lizard folk character if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons. All in all, I think the real scene dice are a great unique concept that kind of set them apart from other metal dice. And as far as balance is concerned, because they don't actually have protruding metal numbers like a lot of metal dice do, I think they're probably even more balanced than a typical metal die set. So take with that what you will, but that's probably a super minor thing that will make no difference in real life. I also said Hackstech sent me a big care supply of a bunch of different dice, so I thought I'd show some of those off too, because they are mighty fine looking, though they're not actually a part of the real scene review. They made a new set that has a bunch of gold leafing on the inside of them, much like dice that I've made before. They have a red set, a blue with gold set, a black with gold set, and then a blue with silver inking with gold on the inside, which is probably my favorite. It reminds me of the ocean for some reason. And then they also also sent me a set of their most popular ones, which is this kind of teal and copper or bronze set. I just think they make cool dice and they actually have them at a pretty reasonable price. And because it's Amazon Prime Day, which is why I wanted to get this video out, everything is 20% off on their Amazon store and on their regular store. So if you're wanting some of these, go check out their store. I'll put a link in the description below. However, I have too many dice. So why don't I give some of these away sometime? I'm gonna give away the black set and the red set, as well as two of the real scene dice, the Evil Eye set and the Staff of Light. 
on my D&D stream on Tuesday night. So I'm going to give all four of those away on October 20th from 7 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So go check those out. And I'm going to give away the blue set with gold inking to one of my random patrons on Patreon because they deserve it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you might want to see some more reviews like this in the future or learn how to make your dice from scratch because that's actually largely what I do here on the channel. Let me know in the comments down below if there's any specific dice sets or tabletop products you might want me to review in the future because that's always fun to try out new products. Products. Thanks to Hackstack for sending us out new stuff to take a look at, and thank you again for watching. I hope that you all have a fantastic day.